So first released in 1976 in Europe and named by Henry Ford II himself, obviously Fiesta being the Spanish word for party, and it's still as much of a party to look at as it is to drive. It's got three pedals and it's dead exciting, stock 180 brake horsepower and set up like a go-kart, so yeah, let's give it a go. The ST180 is, as the name suggests, a 180 brake horsepower front-wheel drive pocket rocket. Just a smidge under 1100 kilograms and that all-important six-speed manual box, the ST is a no-frills driver's car. A bit, don't they? I know. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be any fatter. Yeah. Well, I'm. I'm pretty. F I've actually got a back fat hernia. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a medical term? Twenty-eight. I'm falling apart. The cabin of the ST is pretty much standard Ford Fiesta. The only thing that gives it away as a performance hatchback are these Recaro branded half leather, half cloth bucket seats. That's the theme with the ST. Ford have basically spent the money where it matters for the driving experience. What do you think of this interior? Um, like I said in it's that intro, sketchy, isn't it? yeah, I mean it's it's basically just basic Fiesta, isn't it? Yeah. Like it's a bit strange how stuff's like coming at Point. you and all. <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> Point, you know? it? yeah. it's kind of like the designers have just gone, oh, right, you do that bit, and yeah. then you do that bit, and then oh, we'll give Jeff that bit, yeah. and John can do gear stick. At just 1.6 litres, this EcoBoost engine still manages to produce 240 newton meters. A torque vectoring system mimics a limited slip differential to ensure it can get traction in the corners. You get a little bit of exhaust noise when you get over 3,000 RPM. I can hear it there. It sounds quite nice, actually. Does, yeah. I think there's, there's a little whoosh as well, isn't there, from yeah. the whiskey? It's very, very planted in the corners. Very sticky at the front. Lots of grip. And it really wants to go, like, as soon as you get it over 3,000 RPM, it really wants to pick up and take off with you. I mean, that's probably where you're going to drive this car as yeah. well, yeah. second, third gear, you know, on these little, little nippy roads like this. Oh, it goes, doesn't it? It does go, yeah, I can, it, I can feel it sort of dragging itself, and it's, I mean, for a front-wheel drive car, it seems to be getting it down yeah. well. The ST has a tweaked chassis over the standard Fiesta, more performance focused suspension and disc brakes all round. Ford claimed not to 60 in under 7 seconds. This particular car has been remapped by Mount Tune to 215 brake horsepower. <laughs> you got some sort of pistons on that tailgate, on it, and it like you you've got to be arny to shut it. Right. right, we've got a bit of a driving road down here. You'll come as well, and uh, we'll give it a bit of a blast up here. I think this is our favourite road up here, isn't it? For cars like this, anyway. That GTR, it worked really suited up here, but this is what this is built for, I reckon. It pulls like a freaking train. Yeah, it feels like a rally car. Very sticky. Yeah. Like, I'm impressed. I'm a passenger. I've not driven it yet, but I'm impressed. It's yeah. impressive. Well, engine-wise, I mean, it'll it, it'll free rev nicely up to six thousand RPM. It starts to redline at about six and a half thousand when you start to sort of hit the limiter there. Gearbox is lovely. Nice and quick on the shifts. Dead easy to just slam it into gear. And it just, like, you see that there? Yeah, there's no understeer, is there? Absolutely brilliant. There's no understeer at all. I don't think they were particularly happy about how you went around that corner. <laughs> we're only doing 30. I love it. I tell you what, it's, I really love it's, it. It, you can feel, as even as a passenger, I can feel, you know, where you, yeah. could, you could easily get it into apexes and stuff. and. You know, feel where it is on the road. Very much so. You know exactly where it is. It's brilliant. Them, the damping's nice. It feels like it's doing its job. It's dealing with these bumps and humps really well. 
the ride's quite firm um, for sort of everyday use. Y you've got to have some compromises, haven't you? Because mm. it's it's that kind of car. You can't you can't have it all. No, you no. can't have adaptive dampers at this price range, can you? <laughs> Oh, there's no like wash out there, is the, there? There's a bit of torque steer mm. when you put your foot down and it and it kind of flies off to the right a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But again, it's it's a it's a powerful front wheel drive car. Like you just have to get used to that. I bet it's a good track day car. It's yeah. a good little track day car. Yeah, you'd have loads of fun in it. Yeah, you would. And you know, if you broke it, you'd be able to afford to fix it as well. Yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? It's all right having a Ferrari for track day, but you don't want to be scuffing it down someone else's Ferrari, do you? What a lovely day! Smash it out! You sit so far away from the steering wheel. I mean, I know you're tall, but it's actually ridiculous. I can't even reach pedals. Have you seen how long my legs are? Mm. I like to be near. I like to be near. I I've got. I've, I'm all legs, me. There's no torso. It's the torso's like this. That's why I'm. I, you know what I mean? That's why I'm lumpy. You like it? Lumpy. Oh, oh you you've got your hernia thing. Yeah, I've got my hernia. I've got my my, my overhang. My love handles. <laughs> You know, right. Hang on a minute, hang on. Get your life belt on. I'm excited. your car where you, you put it in launch control front wheels just spin around yeah yeah i've got a polo a new polo gti and it's a good car but mm. i feel like like you say this it, it's a nice balance yeah it's good fun isn't yeah it, it sounds like great. it gives you good feedback nice little snappy gear shift it's so easy just to give it a little blip with the throttle as well as you yeah. get into a corner like that just match your revs. Proper little driver's car. The only thing with it, right, is as soon as you get up to that red line, it, it does that thing where it like tails it off. Yeah. And it like it like right backs off, whereas you you, you kind of just want to like jump into rev line and then just go for it, whereas it, it wants to tail it off for you, which is a bit annoying. When you get it going, the the, the steering set tends to go a little bit light in your hands, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can move the wheel a bit and it doesn't, yeah. It's, it's not really, like, it doesn't really give you confidence. It doesn't feel planted when you get it going. Well, I don't... speed is great because you can just throw it into stuff. Right. But it, to me, it just feels a bit, a little bit too light on the front end when you get it to sort of 60. Okay. Good. Bloody great. Great fun. It was all over so quick. Take one. Um, so, Ollie, what did you think of the ST180? I'm a big fan, actually. I thought it was just going to be another little hatchback, you know, no too special. But actually, it's a good car. It's, a good, it's good fun. Like I say, it'd be a good track day car. Yeah, I think for me, it's not just good i think it's absolutely excellent to be honest i think it, it rivals i think it's more engaging to drive than your polo gti Definitely, that, your yeah. brand new polo yeah. gti polo gti would you agree with that absolutely i think this you can definitely feel the weight in this the weight difference obviously my polo is a lot heavier than this um similar brake horsepower and obviously the polo is a dsg but this is it's just nice to have a manual just to be able to get those three pedals and just and just shift and yeah. actually have that mechanical engaged feel for once. I think it really goes to show as well that it's a shame that companies like Volkswagen are only producing five door models of cars like the Polo and they're only doing them in DSG and obviously they're doing that to warrant the price increase and, and, and you know the money they want for the cars but you know Ford thank God are still producing good honest three door manual hot hatches that are around the 200 brake horsepower mark and it's my first time driving an ST today and as we said in the video I, I'm I think I seriously would consider buying one like maybe not I don't know I'm 
considering it, I mean, for the price, again, like you're getting a, a fantastic driving experience, a car that you can drive daily. Um, you've got a reason, a good, good size boot. If you drive it sensibly, you're going to be getting 40 mpg in it. You know, you, it's you good all round. It's a really, really good all rounder. Really good all rounder. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, it's probably the most engaging car I've driven since my bloody Alfa Mito Quadrifamaggio that I had <laughs> back in the day. Well, I had a Quadrifamaggio Alfa Romeo Mito as well. You yeah. had the 0.9, I had the 1.4. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I have to agree actually. Yeah, it's a. Uh, but I treated mine like it were mm. scraped off walls and smashed it into stuff and all sorts of things. You kind of looked after yours a bit more until you wrote it off. I did write it off. Yeah. Yeah. But. Um, but yeah, definitely. So I'd, I'd, buy, I'd buy one. It's brilliant, honestly. Like, I mean, the hype is true. The hype. It, it, this car will stand the test of time. They're an enthusiast car, and yeah, buy one. Eight grand, nine grand. You, 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 you can't go wrong, really. Buy one. Have it of this, aren't we? Now, uh, last video we were in agreement. Yeah. First few videos we did, we weren't in agreement. We're in agreement with the AMG GTR, and now the Fiesta ST. Yeah. The only, the only, the only downside about this car is the interior. Yeah, but then it'd be a little bit more expensive. So you know, it's cheap, but it's great to drive. So yeah, do it. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>